Hello, hello, Sharon here. And in today's video, you're going to learn all about YouTube video chapters. So chapters are where a video has been broken down into sections of content that is then clickable and searchable in both YouTube and Google. So you'll see in the video that you're watching now that I will have separated out the, the content into little chunks, little chapters on the progress bar down below making it easier for you as the viewer to skip to a relevant section. And also it gives you a heads up on what's coming up in the video later. Now, as a YouTube channel maker, you might be thinking, but why would I want people to skip through my videos? Surely I want them to watch the whole thing, right? Well, yes and no. Let's say as a viewer, you come across a video that you want to watch and it's about 15, 20 minutes long, but it doesn't have any chapters. So you're kind of skipping backwards and forwards on the progress bar, trying to find a bit of information that you think is going to be helpful. But because you keep going backwards and forwards all the time, there's a chance that you could miss out on something that is really interesting or useful to you. And in the end, you just give up and move on to a different video. Now you start watching a video that includes chapters. So you can see what each chapter is called by hovering over the um, each segment in the progress bar at the bottom. And if you click on the chapter name, the full list appears over on the right hand side. So this is when you're viewing it on desktop. So you can also see the full list of um, chapters in the description as well. And all the timestamps are clickable links to that particular chapter. So you can click straight to a section that you're interested in. And because you can see what's coming up in the video due to the chapter headings, the chances are you'll probably end up watching all of the video to the end. And as YouTube content creators, we know that our videos should be all about you, the viewer, and your experience. So another reason to use chapters is from a search point of view. Now, depending on the type of channel that you have and the video content, you can use keywords in your chapter headings, which could help optimize your results in search. So for example, let's say you want to know how to change the text color of a hyperlink in a Word document. So you type that question into Google. Now Google will list the articles and videos on the first page. And you can see one here is my video and you can see it has key moments listed underneath this, which are the chapters. Again, these are clickable links. So if you click on one of them, it will take you, it will open the video to that particular point. Get your keywords right and hopefully it will improve your visibility in Google as well as YouTube. Now let's move on to actually adding the chapters. And before we begin, as always, there's certain rules that need to be followed. Number one, the first chapter must start at zero. That's zero minutes and zero seconds. Number two, chapters need to be a minimum of 10 seconds long. Number three, times must be listed in chronological ascending order. Number four, you need to have at least three chapters in the video. Number five, the formatting to be used is minutes followed by seconds and the seconds need to be two digits. So five seconds would be listed as zero five. Number six, minutes and seconds need to be separated by a colon. So one minute, five seconds would be one colon zero five followed by a space and then the chapter heading. Number seven, your channel can't have any active strikes or content that YouTube thinks is inappropriate for some viewers. So now that's all out of the way, here's how to add them. So if you have a video that's already been published earlier and you now want to add chapters to it, obviously make sure you're logged into your YouTube account first. Then find the video you want to add chapters to and click on edit video. Then add the timestamps in the description box. I tend to give mine a title of timestamps, but you don't actually need to have any title if you don't want one. Then just start typing in the times and the chapter headings, keeping in mind the rules we've just gone through. Click save once you're done, then go back into the video and you'll see the clickable links in the description that you've just set. And when you hover over the progress bar at the bottom, you'll also see that the, um, the, separate, the separate chapters. Now, if you want to add the chapters to a video that you're currently uploading, then when you get to the description box, simply add in the timestamps here. So give it a title if you want to, then list the times and headings for each chapter. Again, following the rules that we went through earlier. As you scroll down, filling in the other details, make sure the allow automatic chapters is turned off. I'll talk about that in a minute. Once the video is published, you'll see the chapters along the progress bar on the bottom and also the clickable time codes in the description box. If you have any videos that haven't got chapters, 
you can actually set it so that YouTube will automatically add video chapters for you. So YouTube's AI goes through the content of your video and separates it into appropriate sections. It's up to you if you want to allow YouTube to do this. Personally, I don't use this as I want to control what my chapters are called. So you can set this up on a per video basis by checking or unchecking the box that I just showed you when uploading your video. But a quicker way to do it is to set it as default. So to do this, go into YouTube Studio and click into your settings down here on the left. Go into Upload Defaults and click on the Advanced Settings tab. Then simply check or uncheck the box next to Allow Automatic Chapters and Key Moments, and then click on Save. It's worth noting that any video chapters that you manually add into the video description will override the automatic video chapters option. So I hope that's helped. Let me know in the comments if you use chapters in your videos. I'm just going to go back and check through my old videos to make sure that mine do because I don't think they do. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.